Hello and welcome to round two of UAL Supercars. Uh, here today at Magior East Circuit. Uh, we have Shaflord of... Yeah, on Paul. I'm not going to say his full name because I'll probably get in trouble. We have us in second place with our new livery made by our teammate. So thank you to Stephen for that. John in third. Oakley in fourth. Uh, John's teammate in fifth. Arctic Devils in sixth. Gato in seventh. Uh, Jordan in eighth. And uh, my teammate was at the back until uh, Lewis Scaife joined. But yeah. Not a bad qualifying from us. Uh, we managed to get P2. So let's get underway with round two of UAL Supercars. As you can see, we do get a good start. Everyone got a pretty good start, to be honest. We, we tried to go around the outside, but uh, he did break a little bit later to us. I think his name is Callum, so I'm going to call him Callum rather than his PSN name. <laughs> and uh, there is a little bit of an incident. No nothing happened because of it, but it was being discussed a little bit at the beginning of the race because there was a bit of contact between me and Callum. But if you watch from my point of view, Look, he breaks very late, but I go for the move. And if, if you watch that again, my line does not change. I stay close to the inside. Right, if you watch it from uh, Callum's view, see he goes wide. So I thought, oh, I'll go for the move. And I don't think he saw me. He just turned in because I was going to make that turn. But unfortunately for Callum, he then got overtaken by Toko, Oakley and John. As you watch John here. Oops, sorry. Goes around the outside. And, uh, yeah. So I'll let you watch. I'll come back and commentate midway through. So I'll see you soon. squabbling for positions which it was very useful to me because that meant I could get away a little bit like I started to pull out a little bit of a gap because they were all battling and uh, the battles continued all the way through the race which was really good you see my teammate here didn't get the greatest exit out of that turn and the Lexus is very fast in a straight line compared to the other cars so yeah the Lexus just overtook my teammate there with no issues really just due to the straight line speed and a poor exit. As you saw there, Callum got on the grass a little bit on the exit, so that compromised him a little bit, allowed Arctic Devils to get a bit of a run. He went to the inside. There was no contact made or anything like that, but he couldn't quite pull the move off. But there was a good attempt, but couldn't quite get it. As you see there, John ran very wide on that but it didn't really cost him any time and this is something that I think needed to be talked about 
because there were a lot of drivers in these races that were doing that nearly every lap and it did give them a bit of an advantage to be fair because they could keep the power on whereas if you didn't want to run off the track you had to lift or brake a lot harder but uh, yeah I'm not saying I'm innocent to it I did do it a couple of times by mistake but there were a few drivers who I'm not going to mention names who were doing it I think on purpose but we'll gloss over that because nothing happened out of it but you know I just thought it was worth noting My teammate was struggling a little bit, but uh, I think that was due to a traction control issue, which we uh, figured out after the race, unfortunately. But yeah, he, I think he had the wrong setting on, and um, it was really compromising him through the exits and entry to the turns, so he couldn't quite couldn't quite keep up with the, with the other boys, which was unfortunate. But yeah, hopefully in the next round this won't happen because we'll have had it sorted. But yeah, just, just a shame for my teammate though with a bit of a traction control issue. here Tucker Hall clearly starting to get pretty close to me which I wasn't too fussed about to be honest because I knew I had the pace to pull away if I wanted to but it was a 20 minute race and I wasn't sure how the tyres were going to last so I didn't want to push flat out at the beginning as you see there I'm three tenths down in the first sex time there but uh, yeah Tucker Walkley really had some pace in this first race and it was definitely putting me under pressure. Another, another thing I would like to add is there is only me and um, Callum who don't use traction control in this lobby so everyone else has traction control on which helps them a little bit out of the corners but I don't feel it's necessary as these cars aren't the most powerful things anyway so I don't think it's necessary but yeah a lot of them did have, did have it on. See there, a fantastic move from Arctic Devils going around the outside of turn one on Kato and managed to get it to the inside for the next turn. So a really good move there from Arctic Devils. Now Kato is under pressure from JWR, D oh, sorry, JWF and Jordan, sorry about that. But uh, he was trying his best to defend. Let's 
see here, Jordan and uh, JWF got a really good run. And unfortunately for Kato, I think he locked the brakes up a little bit and then uh, ran him off in turn one, but he did manage to stay with them too, so keep an eye on this battle. contact between Kato and Jordan which allowed JWF to get a bit of a run on the pair of them but not too much to worry about in that sense because there's no damage on in these lobbies so yeah Jordan they're uh, cutting the corner a little bit is trying every which way to get a move on me but I didn't want to let him through because uh, my tyres were starting to feel a little bit second hand at this stage you see here I go to the inside to defend he tries it around the outside doesn't work out and he tries to get the cut back on me which I wasn't expecting to be fair but he did manage to get the cut back on me however I stayed down the inside for the next turn and managed to pull the move on so I managed to keep that position there Get Bolt got a really good run onto the straight and he's got my slipstream so you see here he moves very quickly to the inside I just let him go there I don't want to defend too much cost us both time but I stay around his outside and I managed to get the power down a bit earlier because of the wider exit so I managed to hold on for now see John here having a look at Taco Oakley. I think he got a very good exit off the last turn and he was trying to get a good run on him. He's sat right in his slipstream now. As you can see behind as well, Callum very close. John goes to the outside to try and overtake Taco Oakley. But he, did, he actually backed out of that move because he was because uh, Callum was very close. He didn't want to get overtaken by Callum so he backed out which was a smart move, I would say. Better hold in a position. You see there though, Callum taking advantage of them two battling, managed to get past John and then went on to uh, try and find a way past Taco Oakley. If you saw the Oakley and John both running very wide off there. So, you know, there's, there's a word of track limits going around, but yeah, Callum went to the inside at the next turn, managed to hold on to it and got himself up to P2.
as you see here, JWF and Jordan have a fantastic battle. I'm not sure what happened to JWF though. I think there was a bit of contact which allowed him to get through and he decided to give the position back. But I'm not entirely sure. see there we had managed to pull a little bit of a gap I think it was around three seconds uh, because all these lot were battling but the fight for P2 was definitely on here and the Jag was looking after its tires very well For P7 was still going on between Jordan and JWF. Some fantastic battling between them two here.
As you see here, as we move on to the final lap of the race, the battle for P2 was still very much going on. And the battle for P7 was also still going on, so... It was going to be quite close between them lads, so let's find out who got the win and who managed to finish off the podium. on the final corner of the last lap. I thought Toko Oakley was going to have a go, to be honest, but he never ended up going down the inside of Callum there, which means that we managed to take the win. You see him weaving about there. So that, that was good for us. It was uh, Callum in second place, Toko Oakley in third, John in fourth. And then in fifth place, it was Arctic Devils. But who would get the sixth place? See here, Jordan got a very good run on Kato here. But didn't quite manage to get it. So Kato got 6th place, Jordan 7th, um, JWF in 8th. And my teammate was unfortunately last, but it can't be helped. So hopefully we'll be stronger in the next round. Obviously we got the win, but... Our teammate struggled a little bit there. I think he did have the wrong setup, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the battling and stuff like that. Uh, please feel free to leave a like, you know, subscribe. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.